taking a break from working on the Z28. Oh man, gotta have it, gotta have that coffee, man. Cold, rainy, damp kind of day. Anyhow, yeah, taking a break from the Z28. Lovely wife is off today, and we're gonna go into town, see what kind of trouble we can get into. Look, it's Street Speed 717. <laughs> Back before he got into all the really high end cars. Anyhow, uh, all we've been doing is going to nurseries. It hasn't been that exciting. It's kind of cold, but now my yes. beautiful wife's taking me to lunch to show her appreciation for me spending oh, time really? with her in really? all this uh, cold weather. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, because you're a good wife. Sometimes. <laughs> you're a good wife? Yeah, sometimes. Because I'm a good wife. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, you have your moments. Yeah, man. I am a good wife. She should appreciate that. I do. Oh, we're going Italian. Hell yeah. She never goes Italian. drunk on one glass. I don't know. Can you drive? Spasiba. Spasiba. You're welcome. It was good. And this guy in a Corvette's been like trolling. Or is that a Camaro? That's a Camaro. He's been trolling this parking lot for I don't know half an hour. I think he's trying to see if street speed will come out. Hopefully no more nurseries, hopefully no more. We can go home, it's cold. So this is a Walmart neighborhood market, a little bit smaller than your normal Walmart. Pretty cool, I liked it. Had everything that you need, just didn't have the big auto center and all the other stuff. Pretty cool. So not every shopping center here is huge. So uh, right now I gotta go head out into this rain. Mostly cause my dad's birthday and I need to get a card out there, but um, one of the most important, it's gonna be one of the most critical things I do amongst anything else when this engine build is this right here. This is the EEPROM that goes into the computer and I'm gonna send it off to the tuner and he's gonna burn like a base tune to this thing based on the parts that I told him. Then he's gonna send me a cable in that and I'll be able to do some data logging. We're gonna fine tune it. He's gonna send me a burner too. I'll be able to, to reflash it myself and then uh, we'll take it to the dyno and we'll go ahead and get like the ex the exhaust because the guy puts sensors in the exhaust probes and we'll be able to tell if the car is running rich or lean these cars don't have a uh, uh, wideband o2 sensor so we're not going to be able to tell from the o2 sensor exactly how rich or lean it is but he puts widebands in the exhaust tips and that'll tell us if we're running rich or lean and we'll be able to go ahead and uh, either 
give more fueling or take it away via the fuel pressure regulator and maybe some of the tuning so uh, I have to go head out in this and get this thing in the mail and get my dad's birthday card Woo! and it's like Seattle out there it's like cold and rainy man gotta have a little coffee warm you up Woo! All right, hopefully you enjoyed that video. I really enjoyed making that kind of stuff. I know it's a little bit of a break away from the car. It's not 100% car content, but channel logo, cars, coffee, life. Sometimes we take a little break from the cars and we inject uh, daily life into it. I said, that's the kind of stuff I really enjoy working as a creator. That's what gets your mind going. Finding some good music, cutting the tracks to it. So hopefully you enjoyed it. I know it's kind of like a boring for most part supermarket, but I have a lot of new Russian subscribers that want to see bits and pieces of America. So we can all agree both sides and try to work together and create content that everybody can enjoy. So a lot of stuff is going to be happening for the uh, channel. Number one, if you look down here, right there, that is a trailer hitch. Bam! Trailer hitch going on the Buick. Even e-trailer doesn't have a video on how to put a trailer hitch on the um, Buick Envision. So this will, this should help some people out. Probably nothing anybody here wants to see, but it's something I'm going to be working on and do a video on how to install this on the Envision. Also, I got another... Uh, cup holder mount for a cell phone to try somebody they really liked my first video and they wanted me to try out their cup holder so good job with that now I know what everybody's gonna be excited about Oxbeam has sent me the headlights that will fit the car if we can zoom in but there you go look at these things nice big fan in the back cannot wait to put these in the car and try them and the nice thing with the aux beam is these hats are removable so I'll be able to take these hats off and try them on the original bulbs so that should be pretty cool because uh, those bulbs have an extra feature that I really like to show you so if I can get them in the car and get them wired up that's gonna be pretty friggin awesome so thank you again Oxbeam for giving me these products to try and the giveaway so don't forget if you're not in the giveaway go ahead and enter I have a whole video on it for the giveaway I don't want to keep putting links down below because these videos will be on YouTube for however long so look for my video about the giveaway the link is down below on that um, okay camshafts um, I sent I talked to comp cams earlier today asked them what they meant by long term if you're not going to start the engine for a long time told them what was going on that I'm still waiting on my cylinder heads and that to come in and it would be a few weeks and they said three or four weeks should be fine just make sure you put lots of cam lube on so I have more cam lube coming uh, just so happened that my tuner recommended that I up my fuel injectors to the 24 pounders so I got the free shipping because I wasn't going to pay ten dollars to ship a little bottle of lube uh, so I do have some nice new injectors coming can't wait to show you that and uh, when I get when I get that new lube, we'll go ahead and put the cam in. I'm going to saturate it. And it's really not going to matter if it falls into the oil pan, if it runs off the cam. Because before I start the engine, once I get it bolted up, before I start it, we're going to drain all the oil out. Put this break-in oil that I showed you, I believe, on the last video. And start the engine with that. We'll put a few thousand miles on. And then we're going to slap the uh, Mobile One Full Synthetic in here. Because that's the oil that I prefer to use. I mean, I know it's an older motor, but no sense putting more wear on it. And if you don't have to... Um, okay, and on that note, too, I got to give a big shout out to my very first subscriber ever, Sparty Nation, saved me on this one. Um, he, he would send me a message or he commented that Comp Cam is already ground four degrees in advance, and he is correct. I misread this where it said um, Comp Cam grinds most of its high energy magnum and extreme energy, which is what I have, the extreme energy, cams four degrees advance. This position camshaft. This positions the camshaft for the best street performance. Um, and it says, however, you should degree the cam. I misread that as I should put the cam in four degrees advanced. I asked comp cams about that. They said, no, our cams are, are already four degrees advanced. 
go ahead and install it top to the center. So thank you Sparty Nation for the catch. Saved me a lot of headaches and possibly some lost power and that like that by going too far with the camshaft. So good call. Um, I totally misread that. So even though my timing gear set has all those neat little things, I didn't know that when I ordered it. I just wanted a double roller timing chain. So uh, it's going to work out anyhow. So I got the nice double roller. We'll go ahead and put it in top to the center. That makes life easy. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get rolling with it. As soon as my uh, injectors come with the lube, we'll go ahead and throw that in. And then we can get started on what parts we have. So a lot of great stuff's going to be going on. We'll be putting these headlights in the cruise. Got the trailer hitch. Got this engine. Got a lot of stuff happening in the garage. And I just want to thank everybody for a great 2019. Cannot wait for 2020. Hopefully it's going to be an epic year. Can we break 100,000 subscribers next year? I don't know. That's a lot. That's a lot to ask for to go from 5,000 to 100. <laughs> That's 95,000 more subscribers. I know something epic would really have to happen, but it's not unheard of. You know, I still have my deposit down on a C8 Corvette. Um, I still, I really need my retirement to kick in before I can even think about it. So who knows? Uh, maybe I'll still end up with it. I just don't know if I have that passion for it anymore. <clears throat> Um, you know, it's not really a car that a backyard mechanic like myself is going to be able to work on. Uh, two, any parts that do come out for it are going to be ungodly expensive. And then three, it's going to be a year probably at least before anybody even cracks the ECM to get more power out of it. And uh, we don't even know if you can because GM, they said they can flash those ECMs over the air. So if you tune it, what if they get an alert and they reflash it? You know, we don't know. This is all new technology. and Stuff's going to change, you know. If our Tesla has, like, kind of the same stuff, they do over-the-air updates. You wake up and your car's changed. Exciting times we're living, but it's a little nerve-wracking, too, for the tuner. You know, I grew up in a, in a world of car stereo retrofits and that, and pretty much now that's all about done away with it's really hard any newer cars like my camera on that you can't put a radio in there's a there's a touch screen that interacts with everything and there's no replacing that so you know it's getting a little bit harder almost impossible to, to mod like even your radios and stuff anymore so it's kind of like you're stuck with what the cars come with thankfully a lot of cars come with bows which does sound pretty decent anymore you know back in my day we said no highs no lows must be bows they were pretty flat sounding they do sound a little bit better now from what you know anyhow uh, man great stuff I really need to work on a rewind video of my own because <laughs> uh, it's been one epic year man there's been so much craziness that's happened it's been one wild ride for sure so I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking uh, just thank you everyone for your continued support please make sure you subscribe to the channel leave a thumbs up leave a comment it all helps grow the channel YouTube sees it all as interaction and it really helps grow the channel. If you want to do some Christmas shopping and that, man, I got some L to the W merchandise from Teespring down below. If you're going to do any Christmas shopping, I have Amazon links below. Just click on any of the links. Once you get the Amazon, then you can shop for whatever you want. Just as long as I direct you to the page, I'll get a commission. It adds nothing to your cost. It costs you nothing, and it's a free way of helping me grow the channel. If you want to make direct donation, there's PayPal and Patreon links down below and I really do need to offer some stuff for Patreon. If you are somebody wants to subscribe to Patreon for a few bucks a month, I, I now that I know more about YouTube, I can give you like early release to the videos and and photographs and more personal interaction. So I, I need to put that in, but that's stuff I will do for anybody that subscribes to Patreon. Plus I can put your name and promote you if you got a YouTube channel and you want promotion and stuff like that. You know, I know I'm a small channel, I can't do much, but we try. So Anyhow, thank you everyone for your support. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. You know, you tape something? Yeah. I need glasses. And I need those napkins. What are you videotaping? To the channel. <laughs> oh, no, no.